Knowing tides is super important if you want to safely navigate anywhere in the world. We're going to show you how. Hey, Cam here with Sailing Virgins. We've just wrapped up a week here in Croatia uh, and we're going to teach you all about tides. Sailing Virgins. Yeah. So tides. Tides are the changes in height of the water um, and it's caused by the gravitational pull of the moon, which has a really big influence, and the sun, uh, which has a slightly uh, lower influence. Uh, different parts of the world experience different tides. Uh, in Alaska, the tidal range is about 36 feet, while here in Croatia and most of the Med, it's only about a foot. So flood currents and ebb currents. Uh, these are result, These are the flow of waters between the high and low tides. So from low to high, we have a flooding current, and that's when some water's moving into an area. Uh, between the high and the low, we call this the ebb current, and that's when water's flowing out of an area. It's really important to understand these currents as they can have a big impact in our speed over ground and can change the time it's gonna take us to get to our destination. So we have two high tides every day in most parts of the world. Uh, we call this the semi-diurnal pattern. Uh, there's other patterns around the world. One is mixed semi-diurnal and diurnal. Springs and neaps. Spring tides are the highest of high tides and these occur when we have the sun and moon in alignment and they happen approximately every, every two weeks. Neap tides are slightly lower tides, and this happens when the sun and the moon are not in alignment. These also happen every two weeks. So every week, uh, we have either a spring week, a spring tide, or a neap tide. For us sailors, we have this big heavy thing at the bottom of our boat called a keel, and it loves to find itself stuck in the mud, or worse, hitting a rock. To avoid this, we need to know the height of tide at any point of the day. We do this by looking up a tidal prediction. What we do is we take that tidal prediction and add it to the chart datum and that should be the height of water at any time of the day. The chart datum is usually the lowest astronomical tide or in the US we call this the mean low low water. So a quick pro tip when it comes to tides, if you're not sure of what the tide's doing or you're coming into an unfamiliar area, it's always better to do this on a rising tide. This means if you do get stuck, uh, eventually you'll be flooded out and be able to go away. If you're doing it on a dropping tide or a falling tide, um, you might be stuck for a lot longer. The rule of twelfths. In a semi-diurnal area, we can do a quick and dirty calculation uh, to estimate the height of tide uh, at any point in time. Because tide, the height of water, follows a curve, what we can do is take our total tidal range and divide it into twelfths. In the first hour, the water's gonna rise one twelfth. In the second hour, two twelfths. The third hour, three twelfths and then it will start to slow down again. So the fourth hour, three twelfths, the fifth hour, two twelfths, and the sixth hour, one twelfth. And that's the whole tidal range broken up into twelfth blocks, as you can see in this diagram. So in summary, it's really important to get your tides right. Uh, it's very important if you want to follow rule one, which has always looked good. It does take a bit of planning, um, but it's better than running aground and ruining your day out sailing. So now that we've learnt all about tides, we thought we'd show you some of the highlights of our week sailing around Croatia, and we hope to see you on the water soon. Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my chest Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my child Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright, alright cause I'm free
So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on tides and a quick glimpse into our week sailing around Croatia. If you'd like to join us on a course, head to the website, the link's in the description down below. We run sailing courses here in Croatia, BVI, Tahiti, and elsewhere around the world. Uh, if you'd like to see more tutorials, hit subscribe. Sailing urgent.